Hey everybody, welcome to LessonsWithTroy.com. I'm Troy Brennan Meyer. Well, in this week's lesson, I'm showing you my arrangement of the classic blues song Rollin' and Tumblin'. We're in the key of G in open G tuning for either lap steel or dobro. I do have my Duesenberg lap steel here with a nice overdriven sound to it. But you can also play this on dobro as well. We're in GBD, GBD tuning from your thickest to your thinnest string. And uh, if you bought the lesson, it comes with a jam track that I made with Band in a Box. And let's go ahead and get started with part of this intro, measures one and two of your tablature. Here we go. Okay, let me go ahead and show you that a little bit quicker. Okay, so we start off with thumb on sixth string. And we immediately do a double stop here on our fourth string and third string. And then we're going to mute that out. And that's what that 16th note rest is right after that. Notice the palm blocking right in front of the bridge. Now what I like to do is as soon as I palm block, my hand's in position to play what's next right after that rest. So that would be your third fret on your sixth fourth and third string. It's a little bit slower. And notice how when I palm block, I do the palm block first and then immediately my picks come down and do pick blocking. Okay, then right after that third fret, sixth, fourth, and third string, and I put a little vibrato on that, not much. My vibrato these days is trying to get control of it to just do a, a mellow vibrato, not, you know, do a real nervous sounding vibrato. And then I do an open third string, open sixth string, and then fourth and third string. Notice the 16th note rest right after that double stop on my 4th string, 3rd string open. All those little little mutes and rests in there really add to the rhythm of it, making it a little bit more syncopated, you know, kind of playing off the beat there. And then measure 1 ends with the 16th, 4 16th notes, it sounds like this. You're picking your 6th string or 4th string together. Then you're going to do a hammer on on your third fret. That's third fret, fourth string. Okay, and then you do open third string, open fourth string. Notice the, the mutes there and how that adds to that, the rhythm of that. And then in measure two, we've got. So it's pretty similar to that. I just start off with a roll and then a mute. So six, four, and three. Six string, fourth string, third string. And then immediately do a mute there. And then I grab my sixth, fourth, and third string, third fret. Open third string. And then six string, third string, fourth string. Okay, and then I do a slide from two to four on my sixth string. Okay, if we put both those measures together, sounds like this. Two, three, and four, and... And then if we just loop that, it sounds like this. Two, three, and four, and... Okay, so just kind of, you know, start off real slow, go measure by measure, and then try to loop that. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next few measures. <laughs> 